Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll understand the Bellman equation using a visual example in a deterministic environment. So, what is the Bellman equation? Let's start with the mathematical notation of the Bellman equation. This equation tells us that the value of any given state is the maximum value you, we can get by taking an action A that gives us an immediate reward denoted by R of state given an action and adding the discounted value of the next state denoted by gamma which is the discount factor and the value of the given next state is V with S prime. Now this might sound a bit confusing but don't worry we'll go through it using a visual example. So here is our grid world example. Jerry our mouse starts at position 0 comma 0. Tom the cat is at position 0 comma 2 with reward minus 1. The cheese is at position 2 comma 2 with a reward plus 1. All other positions have a reward of 0 and we'll use a discount factor of 0.9. Now let's take a look at our reward matrix and the value matrix. Now as we already have established that the reward is minus 1 if you reach the state with Jerry and reward of plus 1 if you reach the state with cheese. Right. And we'll initialize the value matrix with zero everywhere else except our terminal states where we know that the reward is minus one and plus one. Now let's work through a few examples. What if Jerry starts in the state two comma one? So the best action for him is to always move right towards the cheese. So we can use this to calculate the value for this state as R of s given a plus gamma times v of 2 comma 2 where r of s given a we know is 0 and we can discount the value for the next state by 0 0.9 into 1 which becomes 0 0.9 again what if jerry starts in the state of 2 comma 0 which is the uh, bottom left row for him the best action again is to move right and then again towards the right towards the cheese and in this case, we can again use the Bellman equation to calculate the value for the state as R V of S 2 comma 0 is equal to R of S given A plus gamma times the discounted value of the next state. In this case, we know that the R of S given A is 0 and gamma is 0 0.9 and the value of the next state is also 0 0.9. So the value of our state becomes 0.81. Similarly, we can also calculate what the value of the state will be if Jerry starts out at 1 comma 0. So in this case, Jerry can either move right, down and then right again to get to the cheese or he can move down, right, right to get to the cheese. So let's take an example of he moves down, right, right. We can use the Bellman equation because both are optimal sets of policies to take. We can use the Bellman equation again to calculate the value of the state. So we know that V of 1 comma 0 is R of S given A, in this case it's 0, plus gamma times the value of the next state. We know gamma is 0 0.9 and the value of the next state is 0 0.81. So we can calculate the value of the state as 0 0.729. Now, uh, using similar logic, we can compute the value of all the states. As you can see here, the value of state 0, 0, 0,0 is 0 0.6561, value of state 0 0.7, uh, value of state 0, 0,1 is the same as value of state 1,0. So multiple states can have the same value, and it's all is calculated using Bellman equation. You see, it is recursive in nature. We don't need to know the value of all the states, we just need to know the value of the next state. And this is what makes the Bellman equation so powerful. Hopefully this example was able to clarify how Bellman equation works for a deterministic environment. Now, there are some key insights. You can see that the value decreases as we get further away from positive reward. The discount factor re reduces the impact of future rewards. And multiple optimal paths can exist with equal values. And we all we obviously know that the terminal states have fixed value based on their immediate rewards. In the next video, we'll go over the Bellman equation again, but 
in a probabilistic environment where you your actions are not deterministic remember in this example of the actions were deterministic that when you move right you always end up in the right state all right thanks for watching this video don't forget to like like and subscribe for more reinforcement learning content i'll see you in part 3